Hi again and welcome to Scylla for Developers. This is the fourth video dedicated to creating a to-do app using Scylla Cloud, Node.js and React. So far we created an application that retrieves data from the database but is incapable of inserting data. In today's video we will create a React component in order to add items to our database. So let's get started. All right, okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, create an, um, a new component just to add our input form in order to uh, add more items in the future. So I'm gonna type that down, add item form. It's a component that we haven't created yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and create it in the components folder, add item form.js, and I'm going to import React from React and create a functional component, add item form, and I'm going to return a div that is going to say, uh, let's think about it. I am, um, no, I, I'm add item form simply. And uh, let's uh, export default add item form and go ahead and import it in the to-do list.js file. Okay. Okay. It's working. So let's go back. And what I'm going to do is let me quit this uh, terminal here. But so the, the purpose here is, oops. Um, so the purpose here is to actually add the React Bootstrap to make it a little bit more beautiful. That's it. Um, but uh, let me see how to do that. Let, let's just Google it. Okay. Actually, I have it ready because I've done it before. So just press that React Bootstrap, and this is the command to do it. npm install React Bootstrap, and. Um, I'm going to go ahead also, I know that there is another thing that we need to add to import in the index.js file. Okay. So uh, we import the, min, the bootstrap .min CSS, And let's go back to our add item form component and make it a little bit better. I'm going to import a button here. Um, so import button from React Bootstrap. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be importing a bunch of components here. So um, Let's see what we're going to do. So the first thing, we're going to add a form. Okay, let me add it to my, my imports. And in my form, I'm going to have an input group. And inside my input group, obviously, I'm going to have the form, a form control of type, uh, of type text. So let me, let me write that. Type text. And then I'm going to have a placeholder. I'm going to say new item. So I'm just going to have an input and a button. Um, so let's add the, the button now. Okay. So button of type submit. And uh, let's give it a variant of primary. Um, and we can close the tag and add a text of add. All right. Uh, let's import the input group and the form control and save that. Let's go back to our browser and see how it looks. Okay, it's looking better already. And I can see that the font has changed as well. Um, but if I type here, then nothing happens. In fact, if I press the button, my window refreshes and that's not a behavior that, uh, that I would like to have. So uh, let's add a little bit of handling here in order to um, uh, to make it work as expected. So what I'm going to do is to add uh, an on change uh, function here. And uh, what I want to achieve is just to control the value of the item that I'm, uh, that I'm adding. So, um, so inform control, let me remove that tag and close it. Oops, it looks like prettier wants to put it in, uh, in one line. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, this is more readable. Let's add the onChange event to the form control and uh, it's going to be equal to onChange. And what I'm going to say here, I'm going to use the state because what I want to say is every time I change the, the value of the input, my new item is going to change. So uh, react use state. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a new item state uh, 
then we're gonna initialize an empty string and then I'm gonna say set the new item to the event target dot value. So every time I'm gonna change my input, my I'm gonna have my new item is gonna change with it. And I'm going to add the value of new item. All right, so uh, so this way, uh, when I'm going to write my new item, I'm gonna have the value of the data in the new item uh, state. Another thing we're gonna do here is to create the onCreate function. And my cre onCreate function is going to be triggered every time I'm gonna press the, the add button. So it's gonna have an event as an input. Um, but let me leave it empty for now and, and get back to it later. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add it to my form. So every time I submit unsubmit, I'm going to trigger on create. Um, one thing that we want to handle here is prevent the refreshing of the browser. So event dot prevent default uh, will do that for us. And, um, and then what I want to do is every time we create a new item, I'm going to empty my input item, my item input, sorry. But the way we do it in React is actually to do it in the parent component. So uh, it's actually going to be a lot easier for me to uh, make a, a new on item create a function in the to do list component. And then I'm going to have an, a parameter of a new item and uh, w what I'm gonna do is actually define this on create item uh, on item create sorry and then pass it to the add item form so let's go ahead and we're gonna send a post request and we will do the same thing as we did before and then we will update my front end So before defining anything, so what I'm gonna do is just uh, copy paste uh, on item create. I'm gonna pass it to our add item form component. And go to the add item form component and actually just say in the step where we need to send a post request, I'm just going to call add item component, which is with my new item form, which is actually just a prop. Oh, oops, I need to put it in curly braces to say it's a prop. Okay, cool. So now let's uh, send our post request. And uh, what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna console log the new item just to make sure that everything works. If I add any new item, hey, it's me, and I, Press the button there. There you go. I have it in my console. Great. So another thing I'm going to do is actually um, I'm going to prevent sending empty strings um, to our request. So I'm going to disable the button if um, the new item dot length is not defined. So basically, if it's empty, then I I am I'm going just to disable the button. And if I write something that the, the button will work. And what I'm going to do here is uh, to use Axios. And you guessed it, instead of using get, we're going to use um, post. I'm going to use the same URL. So I prefer to put it in a constant. I'm going to name the constant base URL. And it's going to be equal to my endpoint here. Um, so let me replace that in the get function. Um, and in post, I'm going to use the base URL. And I'm going to send... Um, the new item that I want to add as a parameter. Okay. All right. And so let's do a test. And I am a new item. And boom, I'm going to have an error. Why do I have an error? Simply because we haven't defined uh, our post function. So uh, what we're going to do in the next video is actually to define it in our uh, item.js, items.js. In today's video, we created a simple React component to add more items to our database. In the next video, we will see how to handle the post request. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.